and welcome back to my YouTube videos. This is the conclusion of my grand experiment in comparing the different qualities of superwash versus non-superwash yarn. All of the swatches here that are the off-white color are the non-superwash. The blue swatches are superwash. They are both the same yarn base. This is from wool to dye for the W2D4 uh, merino and in the worsted weight. So I've done a series of experiments. This is the last in the series. The last, this is the conclusion video. And so I'm going to go over what we've done so far, a little review. This is my worksheet. I started out with six swatches. There's five listed here. So I started out by just knitting a, what I was expecting to be a six by six inch swatch of each of the yarns, superwash, non-superwash. These have not been blocked. These were from the original startup. So I knitted six of each of these exactly the same, the same number of stitches and the same number of rows except one exception, which I'll point out in a minute. So these have not been blocked. It's been six weeks now since I started this project. So those are our baseline. And then the, um, the blue swatches, I have them all labeled with my colors here. So let's see. The blue, these two swatches were blocked just to the size that they wanted to be, not stretched in any way. Okay, so this is the non-superwash wool, and it was knitted the same, all these swatches were knitted at exactly the same time. This was blocked just to the size that it wanted to be. And it turned out later, I figured out why it's a little bit short. It's short in length because I knitted it two rows shorter than all the other swatches. Other than that, when I blocked it the first time, I blocked it came out this size when I took it off the blocking pins. After one week, it was 6 inches times 5.5. After two weeks, very much the same. And after six weeks, the same. So it did not change much. This is probably from my blocking or measurements were off, but these two, three are very much the same. So that's the non-superwash. Then the superwash, this one was also blocked the same. So this one is down here. It started out at 5.75 by six as soon as I took it off of the um, blocking board. Pretty much stayed the same throughout. It got a little bit narrower, a little bit narrower. It started at 5.75 ended up being 5.5 inches wide. So this is the superwash. It got a little bit narrower. Then the next set, I ripped them out and re-knit them without doing anything to the yarn. These were blocked first, and then I pulled the stitches out and re-knit them without reconditioning the yarn, and then re-blocked them. So this is the non-superwash red. So this is when I first blocked it before ripping it out. The next week it was this size, the next, and then I ripped at, so two weeks later, I ripped it out, ripped the stitches out, re-knit it without reconditioning the yarn, and it ended up being exactly six by six. I had a little bit of extra yarn left over. You can see this is from where the, I had ripped it out, so I ended up just shy of using all the yarn that I used before. This is the same thing with the superwash wool. I had blocked it, so this is red, superwash red. Here it is across here. I ripped it out at this point and re-knit it, and it turns out to be six by six. But you can see that the fabric is not very even. And you can see that in this one too. So it's just, it's, when you re-knit uh, un-reconditioned -re yarn, 
you're going to get an uneven texture like this. It does not look like the initial swatches. See how smooth they are? So you don't really, I would not advise doing this. The next set, I did the same thing. I ripped them out, but I reconditioned the yarn. And I have a video up here, a link on reconditioning yarn. And you can see they came out absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. These are just as nice as the originals. The fabric is just as nice. So reconditioning the yarn, then re-knitting is a huge, huge improvement. So these came out, let's see, this is the yellow. It started out six by six. It ended up being six by six. The blue, the, I mean the yellow superwash, started out at 5.5 by six. But after I reconditioned the yarn and re it, it's six by six and it has stayed that way. This has been quite a few weeks since I blocked these again. Then we have the swatches that um, I stretched. Remember these in the very beginning? When, when I was blocking them and they were wet, and I stretched them in every direction, I was able to get each one of these to be stretched out to 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches. When I took them off the blocking boards, they were immediately shrunk down a little bit to seven inches. So this one was seven by seven, this one was seven by seven. Now, six weeks later, I just remeasured them again, and the non-superwash after six weeks is 6.5 by 6.5, so it shrunk another half inch in either direction, but it's still bigger than the six by six that it was knit to be. So this non-superwash wool has retained its stretch although it came back in somewhat. The superwash wool is now 6.25 by six. So it has come, it's 6.25 this way, six, it has almost come back to its original size, which was intended to be six by six. And I suspect that if we wait even longer, that it will come back. And I'll be coming to my final conclusions in a minute. The last two swatches, these are the ones that have gone through the washer in cold water on gentle cycle, not through the dryer, just the washer. This is the um, non-superwash, and it now measures 4.5 by 4. It started out as 6 by 6. And this is the superwash. It is now 6 inches by 5.75. It has not felt the, the strands felted. This part has not felted, but it has gotten pretty fuzzy and completely different drape than the initial fabric. Here is, let's get the, uh, this is the same fabric after just blocking. And you can see this has body. This has a lot more. See the difference in the drape? This is after going through the washer on the gentle cycle. This is just hand washed and blocked. Okay, so let's talk about the conclusions. The conclusions that we can come to are that the superwash wool and the non-superwash wool are both lovely. They're lovely. The Non-superwash wool holds its shape better. If you stretch it, it will stay stretched. For example, let's say you knit a lace shawl in non-superwash, it will stay, pretty much stay to the dimensions that you stretch it to. It'll pull back in a little bit, but it'll still stay stretched. The superwash wool will stretch out, and when you first take it off the blocking board, yes, it will stay stretched and your lace will look nice, but in time it's going to pull back and come back to the size that it is before stretching it. The felting, obviously the non-superwash felted way down the superwash, survived the washing machine quite well. I'm going to continue washing this because I want to see what it does after like 10 or 12 or 15 washings. And if I find anything significant, I'll report back to you. The most dramatic thing, and I think the take home message is for the re-knitting, the, um, this is reconditioned and re-knit. 
is absolutely beautiful. It's just as lovely as if it were the original yarn. The two that were the outliers, these are the ones that were knit, blocked, ripped out, and re-knit and blocked without reconditioning the yarn. This is something I would not recommend doing. You're not going to, so if you're knitting a sweater and you're halfway through and you find a big mistake and you pull out maybe several inches um, and you've, you've steamed your sweater or you've blocked it, if you pull those inches out, you need to recondition that yarn. Again, I'll put a video up here in the corner. I'll also put a um, link up in the corner to this whole playlist. You can look down in the comments below. I'll put a copy of all of my findings down there so you can look at that. I also have an email subscription list that you can join. I'll put a link to that if you'd like to hear more from me about my classes, tutorials, Ravelry patterns, and videos. So give me a thumbs up. Come back and watch some more, and we'll see you next time. Happy knitting. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.